We are back to highlight some of the features of Teams that you may not know about yet. If I can speak honestly with you, the only time I leave Microsoft Teams is to access Outlook, and it took me a while to realize I didn't always have to do that. This video is going to focus on the integration and relationship between Outlook and Teams. One of the reasons I used to leave the Teams environment was to write an email. If you hover over the profile icon of a user in your Teams environment, you can select the envelope icon to open Outlook Exchange and compose an email to this user. You can also access this feature from your contact list by navigating to your Calls application view and choosing Contacts. You will have to log into your email exchange account the first time you use this feature. Another feature that's built right into the Teams environment is the ability to forward a post that was received in Teams using Outlook. Choose the ellipsis beside the post or message and select Share to Outlook. The post is going to be placed into the body of a new email and you can add your recipients. You can now send that email with that Teams post outside of the Teams environment. Now what if you want to take an email from your Outlook inbox and send it into Teams? A previous video we created shows you that each channel in Teams has its very own email address. Navigate to the ellipsis beside a channel and select Get Email Address to copy it. You can now paste this email address into one of the recipient fields of a new email, a forwarded email, or an email reply. This email is now going to be sent into the channel within Microsoft Teams. From here, you can create a conversation around that email with your colleagues. Now, if your organization allows auto forwarding of emails to external organizations, you could even create a rule that will automatically forward a copy of your received emails into your Teams environment. This is going to bring your Outlook inbox right into the Teams environment. Simply create a new rule and use the channel's email address as your recipient. Lastly, if you visit your profile settings, you can navigate to your notifications. From here, you can choose to have your missed activities from within Teams emailed to your Outlook inbox. Use the drop-down to choose how frequently you're going to receive those emails. Now from your Outlook inbox, you can access your missed activity email and you can choose an option like Go to Conversation to be taken into Teams and access that missed conversation or reply to that missed conversation. You may even select Reply if it's available and you can compose your response directly from within Outlook. We post new videos every Wednesday, so if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also join our online learning community by visiting our Patreon link in the description of this video. In our description, you will also see a link that allows you to sign up for and access our e-learning portal. At Competitive Computing Consultants, Inc., we did not get here alone and neither should you.